Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of EverQuest 2. Now we're doing the quest for Yasha Redblade. On the last one, she introduced us to combat. Let us go over there and test uh, ourselves. I'm basically a test dummy. Uh, even though it fought back, it wasn't really a super hard fight. Now, we're going to go ahead and talk to her and see what else she can offer us in this uh, this new adventure that we just begun. I bet your muscles aren't so stiff after that warm-up. Uh, that's true, or I am more than warmed up. I'm going to say, uh, I'm more than warmed up now. Uh, good, because there's a real foe around here for you to face. As you saw, there's another player here that's uh, obviously doing a quest for her, and she turns towards whoever just talked to her, so don't be concerned. You can talk to her with as many people uh, as are around her. It's not a big deal. So my choices are, it's is it orcs or perfect? Who is it? So my guess that it's orcs, because you kind of mentioned late earlier that orcs were in the area. Yes, these mangy beasts started rushing our, sh our shore shortly after you swam ashore, carrying the others. They must have realized how strong this outpost was becoming. Uh, well, then we must face them. Uh, I'm not ready to face orcs, so it gives you a way out if you don't want to do it. Uh, yes, indeed. Fall upon the Rygor Centurions. They are rushing the barricades southeast of me. Return to me when you have done this. And I tell her right away. So this is the new quest, Call to Arms. It's level 2. And so you get at least 2 silver and 17 copper. When I say at least 2 silver and 17 copper, uh, most of the time they will give you more than this when you actually finish the quest. But you'll always get the item. If there's not an item there, then you won't get an item. You're not gonna, they're just not going to magically give you one at the end, even though they didn't mention it at the beginning. So it's a new bow. You can see it's better than what I'm wearing. So we'll go ahead and hit accept. Now I'll zoom out, but if you look at the top right of your map, You'll see a little area that's blue, and it's telling you that's where you need to go. So you just come straight over here to where the Rygors are. And of course your, your quest says to kill four of the Rygor Centurions. So let's go ahead and snag one of these guys. They're, as you can see around their name, you'll see a little red haze, a little red outline. That means they're ready to attack. That means if you get close enough to them, they will automatically attack you. You don't actually have to attack them. You don't have to send a, an arrow towards them and pull them towards you. Uh, they will just, you know, run up and hit you. This is a good thing and a bad thing. See, as you can see, these other ones are roaming up here. If I stay down there, they would automatically join their friends here. Uh, which they may end up doing anyways because I'm close enough. So I got one more. Now, I only need four, so I'm actually going to move back a little bit and just attack this one. But you can sit there and attack as many as you want. Uh, you get experience for just killing. You don't have to do quest. As you can see, my quest finally updated. Uh, the enemies who fall down uh, will have uh, loot on them occasionally. Make sure I back up so I don't get that guy. Uh, it looks like a little uh, treasure chest when you hover above them. And you can go ahead and just click on them. So let's head back to turn this quest in. As you can see, she has a book over her head, which means uh, the quest is uh, usually finished when that happens. So let's zoom back in and talk to uh, Yasha Redblade. How did you fare? Have the attacking orcs been defeated? I killed many of the attacking orcs. As you can see, I got a new level out of that. Uh, Call to Arms is finished. I got three silver and 45 copper and a new bow. So go ahead and hit accept. Go down to your inventory. Make sure you remember to put your bow on. You can either drag it onto your character like that or move it over here to the actual slot. And as you can see, it, it uh, automatically put it on for me. Oh, I wish I had, would have been there to seen it. You must have unleashed an oppressive fury upon those murderous uh, meat slabs. And then I say I did. And we're going to go ahead and end this here because that's going to lead to the next quest. If you guys like these short little tutorial videos, please hit the like button, uh, subscribe, leave a comment below, or catch me in game. And thanks again for watching.